status and today i'm going to show you how to crack uh, wi-fi password using wi using wi-fi so to launch wi-fi wi just uh, type this command wi-fi oh, of course i'm i'm logged in as a, a super user you can see so if you are not in case you are not logged in as a super user kindly use this command sudo su to switch to, to activate uh, a super user account because you are going to need those privileges to run some commands so right now i'm just going to launch my wi-fi so just type wi-fi then uh, specify the dictionary file that you want to use so negative negative dict and the name of my dictionary is uh, word list not text and press enter and it's going to launch wi-fi and scan for any wireless so as you can see it is scanning for uh, wireless access points we have wireless 39 which has 12 clients connected and it has the strongest signal as you can see it is the at the top and uh, uh, it's, you, they, they, they have, uh, you can see why ps push uh, is enabled and client uh, ready client there's one ready client so what i'm going to do is i'm going to stop the scan using control c and we are going to attack wireless 39 so here because it is number one here i'm going to uh, put number one there but you can add up to you can see here we have seven targets and you you can separate the target numbers by commas so that if you finish attacking one target you can always move to the next one and the next one but now save on time and because this is just for demonstration and for educational purposes i'm going to use just one so that is wireless 39 and press enter it's going to try some attacks like right now we are we are doing uh, there's this attack called pixies pixie dust and it has failed as you can see it's it has moved to the next attack which is uh, null pin which has also failed so it is now using pin attack actually null pin is when uh, your wi-fi does not have any i mean the access point is not protected at all so you can just connect and now pin attack trying a pin attack and you can see my, the access point is locked so pin attack has failed it is moving on to this next attack trying to capture pmkid so let's just be one of the greatest features of uh, hackers is because they have the patience so let's just be patient and wait So it's going to count down to uh, to zero seconds then we'll move to the next attack fingers crossed let's wait so the um, pmk id capture also fails so it's going to move to the next attack which is ypa handshake um, capture so that is when it's going to deauth the clients when they are trying to reconnect it's going to try to capture and handshake and that is the handshake that we are going to that handshake is saved to a file and we are going to crack that handshake to get the password so you can see it captured a handshake here and it was saved to hs that handshake there and uh, this file is encrypted so we have to decrypt it using our word list so that we can expose the wi-fi password so yeah we to do that uh, we are using aircrack ng you can use this uh, setup separately or maybe you can use wi-fi which includes all of them so the capture is capture the, the capture is done using t shark then it is saved to a file then cracking the handshake we are using aircrack ng and the word list that i specified is word list dot text okay and you can see here it it successfully found a match for the password and you can see a crack by pnt ad check and password in plain text is this AIS 2015 01 dollar sign 
and the name of the access point is wireless39 that is the MAC address and uh, it is using YPA encryption and YPA encryption we normally have uh, two we have YPA personal and YPA enterprise oh, in which case uh, YPA personal is normally easier to crack than the enterprise one so this is the handshake that was used the handshake file and again here this is the password in plain text that is showing here so you can see it is very easy to crack attack wireless networks especially when you're using Kali Linux and Wi-Fi so that was that this is it for this video uh, my the video is made for educational purposes so kindly don't just go somewhere and start breaking to other people's networks it's this is this video was made for educational purposes only so thank you for watching and in case i make a new video concerning networks and hacking wireless networks i'm going to share